Hey art friends, today we're gonna do another Fortnite drawing and what are we drawing today? The battle bus. Yeah, the battle, you're super excited. Yes. <laughs> We've had a lot of requests for this and we're finally doing it, so we're super excited. Now we are drawing the older model. The, yeah. Yeah, they just recently updated the model, so it looks a little bit different. But we're drawing the previous one yeah. just for fun. And this is also a little more advanced because there's a lot of details, but we're going to take it one step at a time. So we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need a marker. And some, some paper. Some paper and something to color with at the very end because it's going to look a lot cooler once we color it. Yes. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start by drawing the brackets for the front and the back wheels down here at the very bottom of our paper so that we have room to draw the entire balloon up here at the top. We're going to draw two circles at the very bottom and they're kind of small. We're going to draw them about this size and I'm going to leave a little space and we're going to draw another one over here the same size. And we have more space on the back so that we can draw the back of the bus on the right side. Yeah, good job, man. All right, now we're going to draw two diagonal lines. And we want to make sure that they're diagonal. So maybe a point, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a good spot. <laughs> we're going to draw another diagonal line on the bottom part of the circle. And we're going to do the same thing for the back bracket. Good job, yeah. There you go. Perfect. And then we're going to connect the top to the bottom on each bracket. Then we're going to add some details inside of these shapes. So we're first going to draw a small circle right here at the top of each bracket. Then we're going to draw a small circle inside on the bottom, inside the bigger circle at the bottom of the bracket. Then let's also add a little detail. We're going to draw a line down. Then we're going to draw a, line, a diagonal line that matches, goes up, and then a, another diagonal line to connect. Let's repeat that same shape back here. So down, up, and then connect. Now we can add a little, small little line in the front and the back, or the bottom and the top <laughs> on each side. Okay, all right, now let's draw, there's a yellow uh, clamp. So we're going to draw two more diagonal lines that are closer together, and we're going to connect the front and the back with a short line. So it looks like a really long rectangle. Good job. And then we're going to do the same thing back here. Really long rectangle. Cool. Now we're going to draw, we're going to imagine there's a yellow kind of disc that's attached to the wheel. So we're drawing a C shape that goes all the way through and we'll draw that C shape back here also. We'll draw it really close to that first circle. Yeah, and then you can draw one on the front too. Next, you can see the tires around this yellow clamp. So let's repeat that same step that goes around all the way around. This is for the tire, the front and also the back. Perfect, and then draw another one oh, back yeah. here. Yeah, I love that we're repeating the same steps for the front and the back because then we can practice each step. Now we're going to color in the outside shape because this is the tire. So we can color it in black, but leave uh, the inside of that rectangle white so that we can color it yellow at the end. And we'll do the same thing on the back wheel. Color it in all the way around. Oh, it's starting to remind me of the battle bus, man. Yeah. Good job. All right. Now let's actually draw the bus. We're going to first start by connecting a horizontal line from the front to the back. I'm going to draw this a little thicker. So you can add another line underneath it so it's a little thicker. Then we're going to imagine that line coming out the back. So we imagine it going through. And we want it to be lined up. And we're going to draw this almost all the way to the edge of the paper. Because the bus is a lot longer at the end. Or, or the back. There you go. Good job. Now we're going to draw a short line. We're going to imagine that line coming. I turn. I like turning my paper diagonal. Sometimes that's easier to draw. So I'm going to draw a shorter line that comes out the front. Like that. And I drew a little thicker. All right. We got the bottom of our bus. Let's draw the fender on the front that goes over the front wheel. So we're going to draw a curve. Almost looks like a rainbow line. It comes up over the wheel and then we're going to come, we're going to imagine it coming down 
and connecting right here. Yes, you can leave it just like that. Now we're gonna draw the front of the bus. We're gonna draw a line that starts down here. We're gonna imagine it going through that clamp and coming out the top like that. Yeah, good job, man. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna draw the same length line for the back of our bus. Those should end at the same height. Cool. So maybe that needs to be just a little bit longer about that little extra length. There we go. And then we're going to connect those two lines. So we should have a rectangle. It should look like a big giant rectangle when we're all done. Yes. Now let's draw another line on top of that. This is for the roof of our bus. <laughs> You having fun? Yes. It's looking really cool. Now we're going to connect the top of our bus all the way to the front, front to the back. All right. Let's finish the clamps now. We're going to draw a line that comes straight up, one on the front and one on the back. So it makes this elbow shape. Then we're going to do the same thing back here. Two lines go all the way through to the roof. Okay, well, up here, let's add a rectangle shape. So I'm going to draw an L, and then I'm going to draw an upside down L to finish that rectangle shape. And then connect it in. So I line mine up right with the bracket, and that's okay. Yours is a little off the bracket. That's fine. Yeah, we're practicing, right? So now when we draw the rectangle back here, draw it right in line with this bracket. Cool? Okay. So we're going to repeat that same step, draw a rectangle and then connect it into the bus. Next, we're gonna draw the, we're gonna draw a line right down the middle of our bus. So we're gonna start right here in the front and we're gonna imagine it going through and then we're gonna imagine it finishing all the way to the end. See, if you were to use a ruler and you can if you want, you could line that up and then draw that line all the way through the brackets. There we go, we're imagining it going behind. So now let's draw the front of our bus. We're gonna draw a line that's diagonal, like this. It comes across to the front of that fender, and then we're gonna draw a line straight down to finish it. <laughs> All right, now let's add the windows. So we're first gonna draw windows right here. We're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a line that's right next to the bracket. Then we're gonna draw a line kind of close, but we want to leave some space for the window. So that's one window. Now we're going to draw another window that's right next to this one. So we draw it really close. And then we're going to draw that same distance for the next window. Let's repeat that same step. We're going to go back a little further. Now mine, it's okay if our spacing is a little bit different. Our art friend spacing is going to be different too. So I'm just adding another line. And then this window is going to be behind the bracket. Now let's, let's imagine another window back here at the very back of the bus. Yeah, one more line right there. That's perfect. Now, they're, it's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yeah. Our, our friends, if you guys at home are getting a little worried because your drawing looks a little different than ours, it's okay because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and, and to, to practice. Practice. Don't forget to practice. Okay, now let's add. There's, we're going to draw two lines right in the middle of each window. Now this is for that little, if you look at a school bus, it has this so that you can lower the windows. <laughs> They're split right in the middle. Good job. One right at the end. Now let's add, let's add another window right here in front of our bracket. So I'm going to add a line that comes down. Yep, and then we're going to draw those two lines that split the window right in the middle. So this window is also behind the bracket. All right, now we're gonna add, there's a little visor on the top or just this little part that sticks out at the top of the window. So we're gonna go across each window and add another line at the very top. Oh, it's looking so cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now there's a lot of black details on our bus. So we're first gonna add a little visor on the top. So we're gonna draw a little rectangle that comes out and back in. Then let's color that visor in. Now let's also draw a line at the back of the bus on the roof, and then we'll color that in also. 
Then let's add, there's another, there's a bunch of black lines that go across the side of the bus. So we're gonna draw one that's right under the windows. Goes all the way back here too. I like how you're turning your paper. Sometimes that makes it easier to turn your paper to draw a straight line. All right, now let's draw another one right below that one. This one's going over the back wheel too. So I'm gonna draw it a little thicker. And then we're gonna imagine it going behind the bracket and then connecting to the end of the bus. Good, now we got one more. This one's gonna end, look at that. We're not gonna connect to the wheel. We're gonna end and leave a little space. Then back here, we're gonna imagine it going through and coming out the back and connecting. So I'm making it thicker. There we go. Now we have the side of the bus done. Let's color the, the hood or that goes over the engine is black. So we're gonna draw a line that comes down and connects to the front and then color that shape in. Next, let's color in all of the windows. This part we're gonna fast forward, but you guys can pause the video to take time to color in your windows also. Now we're gonna add a bumper back here on the back of our bus. So let's draw a upside down L, and then we can color that in. Now, we're getting, now we can add all of the cool stuff on the top of the bus, including the balloon. But first we're gonna draw the, the fire part, the part that heats up the air. I don't know what that's called, the big fire thing. <laughs> flamethrower. The flamethrower, okay. We're gonna draw, <laughs> first gonna draw a line that connects the two, these two little pulleys at the top. Good, now let's draw, we're gonna draw a box. We're gonna draw two lines that come up and we don't wanna draw these too big because we need room. We need to save room for our big balloon. Good job. Then we're gonna connect the top. Now we're gonna draw another box that goes around this one. So this is the frame that's going around the engine. Yeah, cool. There you go. All right, now inside of this, we're gonna draw another rectangle. It's a lot smaller. So we're gonna go up, across, back down. Now inside of this rectangle, let's draw a circle. And then we're gonna write the letter V inside of that circle. Then let's color in the outside of the circles. We're coloring the rectangle, but leave the circle white. Now we're gonna draw this uh, upside down triangle shape. We're gonna draw two lines that come out of the top of that rectangle. And we're gonna imagine them going through the frame and popping out the top, coming out behind. Okay, then let's connect those. It looks like antennas, but we're gonna connect the top. And then let's color in this upside down triangle shape. On each corner of the frame, let's add a smaller rectangle, just like we did right here on down here at the top of the bus, we're gonna draw smaller ones up here on the top of the frame. Two of them, and then you can connect them in to the frame. Now this, these are pulleys, this is where the cables are connecting to the balloon. Now let's draw the satellite dish. We're gonna draw a oval. We're gonna draw it about this size. Then we can draw a line that comes out of the middle of the oval. And then we're gonna draw a rectangle on the end of that. There's our satellite. It's a simple way to draw the satellite dish. Yeah. Now let's draw, there's a couple more rectangles on the bus. So we're gonna draw another rectangle right here. It's gonna be a little bigger. We're gonna go up, over, and back down. Then let's draw a smaller rectangle right next to it. And I'm just drawing an upside down L. Cool. Now let's draw one on the front of the bus over here. We're gonna go out, down, and then back in. Cool. Now on the front, there's like this funnel thing and you were trying to explain it to me. What is this funnel thing? Is this to power the bus? Yeah. So I'm drawing a line that comes straight up and then we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out to the side. It's part of Save the World, is that what you were yeah. saying? And you you get this, what is it? Like blue goo. Blue, blue goo. Blue goo, you collect it and then you put it in this little funnel. Yeah. And we're gonna add little dots on, in this triangle. So I connected the top, there's a little funnel 
And then they've got this, this yellow uh, pipe, that flexible pipe that's connected to this rectangle back here. So we're going to draw a line that goes all the way over and it's going to S down and then into this rectangle on the front of the bus. You guys can pause it if you need time to draw that. It's a little tricky. We're going to draw another rectangle or another line that's coming out of the rectangle and it's going to go right next to this one. We're going to come down and connect to the front. <laughs> so I'm guessing the blue goo goes in here, comes back here, and it powers the fire so yeah. that you can float. Okay, yeah, all right, dude, we got all of the details added to the bus. It looks so awesome, but we're missing on the most important part, the balloon. Now, we're going to draw it pretty close to the bus, but even though in the game it's a little further away. Yeah. We're just running out of room. So we're going to draw a horizontal line right above this frame right here. We're going to draw it about the same length. See how that's about the same length as the frame. Okay, now we're going to draw the balloon shape. We're going to start here, and we're going to draw this big shape that comes up, around. We're getting really close to the top of our paper, and then we're going to keep coming around to the other side, and then connect back in. Is that cool? Yeah. So these lines are kind of diagonal and straight. Yeah, oh, good job. You did good. <laughs> did you get a little worried? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Your balloon looks amazing. It looks awesome. <laughs> okay, now let's add all of the details to our balloon. So first we're going to draw another horizontal line at the very bottom. Then we're going to draw two diagonal lines coming down on the left and also on the right. We want, these to, we want to try and match those. Then we're going to connect both of these lines with a rainbow line. A curve. A curve line. line. Yeah. <laughs> Now let's draw these same rectangles. Let's draw them right here on each of the points. Yeah. Now we're going to draw another upside down square U or just another rectangle. So many details. <laughs> so many details. We're going to add another one over here. Now we're going to draw we're going to draw two really long lines coming down. They're going to connect down to the bottom of our balloon. We're going to do the same thing over here on the right side. <laughs> There's so many details. I love oh. it though. It looks so cool. <laughs> now right here we're going to draw two curves. So it's like the strap is coming down and wrapping around the bottom part. And we're going to draw two curves over here. Then we're going to add two more rectangles. Two small rectangles right here at the bottom of the balloon. Yes. All right. Now let's connect it. We're going to connect our balloon. Draw two lines that come down from each rectangle. Connect to those pulleys. Then we're going to draw two lines. This, we're going to connect the top pulley down to the bus. And the same back here, we're going to connect to the bus. We're connecting where? Oh, to right the rectangle. Here. Yeah, you did it. And now we're going to connect to this, those two. <laughs> Well, there's a stripe running right through the bottom of our balloon. So we're going to draw another line that comes across, and we're going behind the straps. See how I didn't draw the line in front of the strap? Oh. Yeah. Good. Keep going. Perfect. And then we're going to draw another one up here for the top of the stripe. <laughs> What's our bus missing? The fire. The very last thing, we're going to draw the fire heating up the air. So we're going to draw, it's going to be a curve that comes up to a point and comes back down. Looks a lot like a leaf on a tree. Yeah. We're going to repeat that same step, but smaller inside to finish the fire. All right, dude, we did it. We finished drawing our battle buses. And I love that our drawings don't look exactly the same. And that's okay because the most important thing is to, to have, have fun. Yes, to have fun. And we're going to have a lot more fun because this next part, what are we going to do? Color it. Color it. We still need to color them because they're going to look so much better colored in. We are going to fast forward this part, but at the end you guys can pause it so that you can match all of the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes.
Jack, we did it. We finished coloring our battle buses. I love how your drawing turned out. It looks so much better colored in. I hope you guys at home are going to do the same thing. I hope you're going to pause the video and take the time to color your drawings. It looks so much better colored. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> this drawing, this lesson was super challenging. Now I hope you guys at home remember that it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly the same. Because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and, and to, to practice. And to practice. That's the important part because I promise the second time you draw your battle bus, it'll turn out even better. Yeah. I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.